Design Competition is a Northwestern program where groups of three or four students get together and build a robot for competition in May. Um, what we do is there's a different set of goals each year and each team tries to meet those goals in order to win the competition. This year the task involves picking up a set of foam cubes laid out over an arena and returning them to a movable scoring zone on your side. The cube will actually go underneath our robot and there it will be scooped up by rotating brushes and it's kind of passed from brush to brush to brush and then once it gets to the top it'll be spit out onto a conveyor belt where uh, we can hold more than one cube until we get back to our scoring platform where the conveyor belt will turn on and the cubes will be deposited. Uh, much like any other project, this is a team effort. Uh, you um, really need to coordinate, you need to have weekly meetings, maybe sometimes you know, twice weekly meetings. You don't want to work on something uh, one day and then three weeks later f find out it doesn't work. It's so intense right now. So no, I'm not ready. So about two hours before the competition, we realized that all of the hard work that we'd be putting in to make a robust, smart robot was 95% of the way there, but because it was missing the last 5%, it wasn't going to be ready for the competition. So we had to make the difficult decision to put that aside and go blind for the competition. The way the competition is set up, they have the preliminary uh, like to kind of see how you're seated against the other robots. And so we had one minute and we kind of went in, put the robot down, like, I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> so, and it ended up actually, we scored negative 13 points, which was not our goal. We kind of realized what had gone wrong a little bit. So we came back in here and kind of talked about how to wrap up that from happening again. Our first match, we actually won by doing that. We regrouped and decided we needed to try and push even more cubes to the other person's side and it ended up working pretty well. We lost um, our next round but it was actually to um, the team that won the competition so it was actually double elimination so we went into a different bracket and um, we used the same strategy just trying to sweep cubes on the other side and ended up climbing our way to the top of the bracket. Third place is better than Discasa. It was the kind of thing where we knew that if we continue doing what we were doing, even if it had the potential to guarantee us a win, it wasn't going to be ready for the competition. So we had to do whatever we could just to have something ready. And I think that was the biggest difference between us and some of the other teams, whereas they weren't able to just put, out, put down what they had that they knew wasn't going to be ready and throw out together something that they could. The most fun thing about this competition would have to be just looking at your robot doing something, anything. Right? For me, um, two weeks ago, it was watching the robot move, just walk, you know, just drive forwards. Um, it, it, you know what's happening because you built it. You know everything that's happening behind the scenes. But just walking in a room and just being like, oh, okay, that robot's just moving. It's 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 going uh, is really fun. 